guys, Tracy here. So today we are gonna be making a beef stroganoff. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make the sauce and everything else. And I do have um, potatoes um, heating up right now because we're gonna have it over mashed potatoes. Just a heads up for that. Um, I'll do that, I'll do mashed potatoes in a separate video. But um, today we're just gonna focus on the beef stroganoff um, sauce and what all goes into it. So the ingredients that you're going to need are, um, this is stew meat. This is two pounds. You're gonna need mushrooms, um, some onions, beef broth, Salt and pepper, sour or sour cream, garlic, butter, some kind of prepared mustard, and flour. So I'm gonna prep everything and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is add butter to the pan. I would say that's probably two tablespoons. Nice in there. Eight tablespoons of butter. Seem like a lot of butter, but this is gonna actually be our sauce. Alrighty, so our butter is close to being melted, and we are gonna put our meat in. And I just rinsed off the meat and then blotted it with a paper towel to get all the extra moisture off. and some salt just for flavor. And right now we're just trying to kind of like brown the meat a little bit and then when we do that then we'll add all of our onions and then we'll cook everything on low. Right, so that is looking really good so now we're gonna just push everything over and I'm gonna add our onions.
and I'll let this cook and we'll be right back. So everything's looking really good, so now we're gonna add our flour. About four tablespoons. And just eyeball it, and this is gonna thicken up our sauce. really nice and thick. And then we're gonna pour in our beef broth. Stir this and make sure that you're getting no clump. garlic and then I'm going to do some of the mustard mm -hmm. so now I'm going to add the mushroom and I'm just gonna break a couple of them up with my hands. So I feel like they're a little bit bigger pieces. This is the first time I've ever made this particular, like I've made beef stroganoff before, but this is a new recipe I'm trying out. Um, I feel like there's certain things that I might have do a little bit differently. Um, but it's always fun to try different recipes and like how you know other people have um, do them. This one is definitely an interesting um, recipe for sure. I think I'm gonna add, I might have added just maybe a little bit too much flour, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken broth. So, I'm just gonna add more in here. Just to kind of loosen it up a teeny bit. And you know you guys, with recipes you can always tweak it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Always make it your own. Alright, so we're just gonna so just put a lid on it, I'm gonna let it go, and we'll be back. Alright guys, so this has been cooking for a while. Look at it. 
looks really good. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. All right, you guys, and then you're all good to go. So this is my take on another recipe that somebody else did for beef stroganoff sauce. Um, like I said, I'm going to be putting it with mashed potatoes, but you can have it on gravy, you can eat it alone, you can, op you can you know, do a piece of toast and then put it on top like an open sandwich. There's so many different ways that you can eat this. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.